everybody it's me Stacy here at scrapbooking made simple and it is time for Saturday with Stacy YouTube number 249 yes we are almost to YouTube number 250 who would have ever thought certainly not me but so glad to still be here wahoo kachoo now you can go all the way back to my very, 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 very first YouTube, which wasn't a class or a tutorial or anything. It was me holding a video camera for the first time in my life. That was video number one. And now we're all the way to almost 250. So thank you for all of your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for learning. And thank you for continuing to craft. No matter where you get your crafting supplies from, continue to craft. Because as long as we keep crafting together, then the hobby stays alive and the manufacturers can still manufacture and and the retailers whether it be a little independent small mom and pop like us or or a big box store like michael's or hobby lobby they can't stay in business either if we all don't if, if the hobby is gone so bless your pea pick and heart for continuing to craft now i have several announcements to make first off oh my goodness gracious this youtube is a little outside of what we normally do and I can't wait to do it oh my gosh in fact I'm in the room early this is mr. SMS's office and I booted him out he only has about an hour left to work today Th that's all that's left I'll be here a little later than that but I said so he gave me a kiss on my cheek as I'm shuffling him out of the office and I said oh you've got about an hour left um wait for me and and you know I'll follow you home and he looked at me and he goes <laughs> he, he kind of chuckled and he said, oh, Stacy, oh, honey, <laughs> who are you kidding? <laughs> You'll never be done in an hour, so I'll see you at home. And I'm like, oh, but he's right. Don't tell him I said that. He's right. I will not have this YouTube done in an hour. But he was so cute. He's like, yeah, no, you're not going to be finished in an hour. I know you. <laughs> so all's good. He'll be home. That means he has time to make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we've got we've got a great YouTube I've got I've got product for you I've got winner winner chicken dinner I've got a shop that didn't hop announcement so one are we doing the event this year absolutely more details to follow but yes and it will be as big and as spectacular as always and the free gifts this year are as big and as spectacular as always and the deals well more to follow for the shop that didn't hop orders that are going out, we are now up to 95000. 95000. So if your order is 95000, 9499994998949974, then your or lower, your order is in process or may have already shipped to you. You may already have it in your hands. Now, these numbers only apply to orders placed during the shop that didn't hop event if you did not place your order during that event then don't worry this doesn't this doesn't apply to your order at all but if you did place it during last year's warehouse sale and shop that didn't hop know that we're up to nine five zero 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 and it could be like i said it could be already shipped to you and in your hands and you've been using it for two and a half three months it could be that it's being currently picked or pulled those are different things different people do picking and different people do pulling it could be that it's being filled it could be that it's in quality control it could be that it's being packed or that it's on the shipping rack ready to go so if you're nine five zero 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 or your number is lower than that then that's where you're at if you're nine five zero zero one you're in the next batch to go upstairs to be processed woohoo <laughs> and i will keep you informed as to the next go around the next time we send up orders i'm trying to keep you as informed as i possibly can in every youtube if not than every other YouTube. When we have a change in numbers, I let you know. All right. We've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. And that was um, YouTube number 248 using my product, Simply Refined. My, my uh, It's the flip sides. I did another collection of flip sides, only they have a top note to them. And so I'm going to be using some of that product again in this YouTube. But, oh my goodness gracious, what else I have for you? I've got Marabou, I've got Stamperia, I've got Kaisercraft, I've got Dewcrafts, and, and, 
with the exception of my product, my dies, and the starter kit, because it's a kit. There is not one thing on this table that costs that that re, that we're going to be selling for more than three dollars. We have some product here that is seven dollars and ninety nine cents. That will be two dollars and forty cents. Everything here that I'm looking at is under three dollars. So this YouTube is certainly value priced for everybody, and I have a free gift in this YouTube. So let's talk about winner winner chicken dinner first before I get there because that was last week's YouTube on the Simply Refined flip side, the new collection for 2018. And if you haven't seen that YouTube, you might wanna go back and take a look. The Simply Refined dies are my dies. They are exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. And the flip side dies give you so many options, really. If you have the two vertical sets or the two horizontal sets and the stamp and die set that go with it, you can create forever <laughs> and not duplicate. Truly, it's amazing. So. We have winners. Who won them from last week? Our first winner winner is Susan Havery? Havery? Susan H Havery. I'm going to go with Havery. There's your name. Hopefully it's zooming in. Susan, if that's you, Wahoo Kachoo, you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. But you're not alone. Who won with you? Kathy, Kathy Anderson. Congratulations, Kathy Anderson. There you are. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Kathy's a winner. Chicken dinner. Susan's a winner. Chicken dinner. How are you girls going to claim your prize? It is so easy. Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click on it. Follow the directions. Send us your email. We will indeed confirm that you are our winner, winner, chicken dinner, and then your prizes will go right out to you. And lovely, sweet Kayla is back. So she had, well, anyway, lovely, sweet Kayla is back. So um, now that she's back, any um, winner, winner, chicken dinners that haven't shipped already will be shipping soon. So congratulations, girls. Don't forget to send us your email. You have 30 days from today's date to claim your prize. And if not, it goes into the, the land of, unclaimed prizes and we use those for our anniversary sale when we give away a hundred prizes. All right, I'm going to move that to the side and I am going to talk to you a little bit about today's YouTube, which is featuring Marabou. We have beautiful product from Marabou. We have Kaiser Crafts, Stamperia, and Do Crafts. Again, all the product is priced affordably, totally affordable, but what I want you to know is this is a little outside of what we normally do. Now, you may start watching and saying, this is not for me. Don't, don't, don't turn me off. <laughs> don't, because you need to see all that you can do with this product and there's a free gift. So I want you to know about that as well. And if nothing else, this product will make your heart happy. It's just pure entertainment. It truly is. When I started working with it, I ran to the dollar store. I ran to the dollar store. And first off, the dollar store is not the dollar store. I spent $40 inside the dollar store. Have no clue how I did that. That's a whole nother story. But when I learned what this product could do, and after I had played with it for a little bit, I'm like, oh, what else can we do with it? Dollar store is literally a half a mile from my store, honestly. Started, went over there, and it was like, oh, we can use this and we can use that. And I just kept filling up my cart, because it's only a dollar until you check out <laughs> and then I was like <gasps> what <laughs> but it didn't matter we got back we have been playing with this product from Marabou for well I can't play with it for too long I played with it each day for a little bit but the girls have been going crazy having a great time and we've just have you ever had a garage sale where it was going so well and you were selling everything you started looking through your house for more things to sell at your garage sale during the garage sale because it was so busy you were running out of things to sell it's like oh what else can i sell but that's what this product did it was like it's marbling product what else can we marble oh my goodness gracious so i want you to stay with me because it's very simple to do it only requires water plain water lukewarm not cold plain water some tweezers 
and your imagination and you are going to have an amazing time. Now I'm going to tilt down. We're going to get started for today. I will tell you about well, the free gift. I want to let you know. Free gift with any purchase of any of the Marabou Easy Marbling. If you purchase even one, you get this for free. Now, this is a $7.99 um, coloring postcard book from Kaiser Craft. So there's 20 pages in here, 20 pages in here that you can then color and use as postcards. We're not going to be doing that with this today. Shh, we're not doing any coloring at all like you're supposed to. We're going to be using this to marble with. But even if you just buy one color of the marbling, which is $2.40 on sale, you're going to get one of these free. It's one free per every order. Even if you order the I want it all of these, you're still just going to get one. But don't order this by itself unless you really don't want any of the marbling. This is $2.40. This is about $2.40. You might as well order the marbling and get this free as opposed to just ordering this and not getting the marbling at all. Now I've got five or six different of these books of the postcard books from Kaisercraft and they're all $2.40 and not $7.99. So you'll be able to, um, if you wanted additional ones or if you just want to use them with, <laughs> for their intended purpose, that's good too. But, um, but wait till you see what we do with it and why I chose it. Okay, I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you the make and take that we've got going on and then we're going to get started. Are you ready? Down we go. Bye! All right, and now I'm going to try and zoom in, and I might have to zoom out. We'll see what happens when I bring the water over. I want to make sure that you guys can see. Okay, so make and take going on right now. Ooh, ah, uh, see, I can still see the, no, up a little bit, nope, down a little bit, nope, zoom in a little bit. Okay. Ooh, ah. Uh. So we used my Simply refined flip side dies and the new marabou well i guess it's not new it's new to us marabou easy marbling and we made a card out of it oh my goodness gracious so downstairs we've got this one going on right now this make and take going on right now but they could also choose to do it look at those colors they're just gorgeous absolutely beautiful and no two ever come out the same they're all different so i'm going to put those aside right now and i think i'm going to bring over some of the product now these are my bottles that i've been playing with and they're called easy marble from marabou and here's the starter kit 16.99 20% off. So if you were to take each individual bottle, it's it's less than the, the, the $3, like I said. Um, but here's their starter kit, just to give you an idea of what the packaging is supposed to look like. Because mine, <laughs> I've been playing. <laughs> so this is the yellow. And this is a turquoise. And a richer turquoise. And purples. And reds. And they're just beautiful. But what can you do with them? Well, this is where your imagination takes over. I'm going to be playing with wood pieces from Do Crafts, ceramic plaques from Stamperia, the coloring book from Kaiser Craft, tags from Kaiser Craft, and then I'm going to play with some product that I got at the dollar store. So let's start with this one first. This is the book that I told you if you buy even just one bottle of this, one bottle, you're going to get this one for free. I do have others. These are also on sale for $2.40. They re retail for $7.99. They are heavy, heavy cardstock, super heavy cardstock. And you're meant to color them with whatever pens make your heart happy. We've shown these before. And then you can address it and mail it off. It's a cute postcard. They're darling and it's an easy thing to travel with. But Kaiser Craft contacted me and they said, we'd really like to sell these. Are you really interested in buying these? And I said, well, I don't know. We've done them already. And then Marabou came and I saw this easy marbling and 
I thought, oh, I have an idea. Because this paper is so heavy, I mean, it's postcard weight heavy. What if we marbled these for our cards so you didn't have to go out and find nice heavy cardstock? My 100 pound cardstock will work. This is even heavier than my 100 pound cardstock. And, you know, Kaiser Craft was kind enough to give them to us for a really great price. And so we're kind of using them for something completely different. So if you love them and you want to color them, go right ahead. But we're going to be marbling over the top of it because the weight of the paper is awesome. If your paper's a little too thin, you know, it might bubble and it might curve and warp once you put it in the water. But this, oh, and like I said, you get the whole book. You get this entire book for free. You get all 20 pages for free if you purchase any of the easy marbling, even just one vial. It makes no sense. You might as well, even if you just wanted this book, you might as well purchase one vial of this and you can give this to somebody else or you can play with it because this is $2.40 by itself and you get this for free or this is $2.40 and you don't get the, you might as well get it for free. You might as well get the set. So anyway, let's take some out and let's play. I would feel so wrong not telling you to, to just buy them easy marble, even one bottle because you get this for free for the same price. You might as well get both products It'll give you an opportunity to play with the Easy Marble without making a heavy commitment because you were going to buy this anyway. So I'm pulling out some of the pages. And I'm going to put this off to the side for now. And write on that one SMS because that means we used it. So I've got some of their pages. And now the Easy Marble. How does it work? Well, first off, a little goes a long way. These vials go a really long way. These jars last you for quite some time. Can you do this with children? Absolutely. Would you prefer to have it in a nicely well ventilated area? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. But, but what does it do? First off, one of my buys at the dollar store was this lovely little pitcher, water pitcher, $1. I didn't want to spend any more than that and I just needed to fill it with just tap water, distilled water if you have it, but lukewarm. You don't want it cold. Don't take it out of your refrigerator. The, when the water is, is too cold, it doesn't, the, the, the plasticky liquid in here does not work as well. So you want just regular room temperature water. And if you have distilled, that's great. And if you don't, that's okay too. And fill it up. Now I'm gonna grab a couple paper towels. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a white. I'm going to give it a good shake. Now, I'm going to pick the colors that I want to use. I'm going to use maybe those four colors. So I want to have them ready to go before I start. I want to have them, make sure I put the lid on them. Because I'm going to shake them really quick. Give them a good shake and then get my lids ready to go so I want to take it off. Why do I want to have everything ready to go? Because you have a kind of a, a tick tocking time going once you start putting your liquid into your water. Now what is this liquid? I don't know. It's got, it's, it's some kind of a plasticky liquid that when it dries on your craft mat, to, to wipe it off when it's still wet doesn't work as well as if you just let it dry and it just kind of chips right off and flakes right off. It's awesome. I am going to get my hands dirty. I will. I am going to use a piece of some tweezers. These came from, I think Michelle picked up this set for a buck, not at the dollar store. I think it was at Harbor Freight Tools. So I'm not going to use my really nice tweezers, my Stacy fussy tweezers. I just picked up, Michelle picked up, SMS Girl Michelle picked these up at I think Harbor Freight for a buck and that's what I'm going to use. So I've got this all ready to go and I'm going to start with paper. Okay, I'm going to use white as my first color and I'm going to drop in some drops. Now your first color you always want to have plenty of. Oh, see, I'm going to leave that there and hopefully it dries. Then I'm going to put in a little bit of my second color. 
and you can use as many colors as you want. And because you're just dropping drops, it really does last quite some time. <gasps> oh, that was good. A few more drops. Now, if you want to wear gloves, you absolutely can. Um, you probably will not be as messy as I am. And I don't mind my hands getting inky, especially since if you wash your hair, um, it comes right off your hands. Or if you've got a little scrubby, you can scrub it right off your hands. But if you do the dishes at night and wash your hair, your hands will be completely clean again. Now, I need to take this and I need to swirl it. Now, you don't want to over swirl, but you don't want to under swirl. You want to give a nice swirl to get that marbly effect. And then I'm going to take my card from Kaiser Craft and I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to dip it in straight in. And then out. Oh, right? Pretty cool. Look at the back. Is that amazing? This is easy marble from Marabou on paper. Now, I still have some left, so I'm going to quickly open up some of these tags. I have got tags from Kaiser Craft as well. They're all Christmas tags. And they're $4.99 on sale for a buck a pack. And I think you get 20 tags or something. I'm going to put my... I still have some marbling in here and it hasn't quite set yet. So I'm just going to dip in and dip out. And I've started to marble my tag. And see, I have hardly any marbling left. Is that awesome? It is absolutely amazing. Now there's still just a little bit of marbling left. All I have to do is take my paper towel and just kind of skim the top. And there, my water's good to go again. I don't have to change my water after every single time. Let's do another color. Let's play with gold, shake, 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 and some red. Shake, 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 and some black. Shake, 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 and some white. Shake, shake, shake. So I'm going to put my white in first. And get that around. And now I'm going to put my golden next, which is truly metallic. It's beautiful. And give a couple good shakes of my gold and now I'm going to put my red in on top of that and you don't have to do this many colors but once you start doing the colors you just want to play see look at that it just it kind of looks like oil and water it kind of looks like oil sitting on top of water and it's not alcohol ink it's not it's some form of a plastic okay and I'm going to take my little and I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And wipe that off. Grab my card, cause my paper is so heavy. And just kinda dip it straight in. And out. Oh, is that awesome? <laughs> Can you see the metallic? And what takes long to dry? Let's see the back. Oh, there we go. There's the backside. What takes long to dry isn't the, the, um, the medium. It, it's not the easy marble. What takes long to dry is the paper, which is why we're using a heavier paper. So it stands up to being dipped all the way into the water. Look at that. Is that is that awesome? Can you not imagine cropping this? Oh, well, you could use the whole, the only thing I would crop off is the little Kaiser Craft on the bottom. This is using this. 
Not what it was intended for, but look at how fabulous it is. Crop this down, mat this up, and make a stunning card for somebody. And you can really see the metallic coming through now as it's drying. You can absolutely take a heat tool to it without question and dry your paper a little faster if you want to. Not a problem. Now, remember I said if it sits too long, can I, is this one? No, it's probably not dry yet. If it sits too long, you can't use it. So that's been sitting there a while. I'm going to kind of, oh yeah, so you can see it turns into, do you see that? Don't know what it is, <laughs> but you wouldn't want to use it once it gets to the state. You've got about a minute, minute and a half maybe to play and to put as many things in there as you possibly can. So if I were doing lots of tags and I wanted, I wanted, ooh, lots of the green, love the green. And let's add a little bit of the purple. And let's add a little bit of our blue and let's stir it on up. You don't want to over stir, but you want to get that marbly effect. So you need to kind of stir it all into each other. And then we can start taking our tags and down and up. One done. Let's take another tag. Down and up. Tag number two. Done. Let's keep going. I've still got paint on the top. Tag number three. And then as the paint is starting to disappear, I can take it and run it straight across the top to pick it up. Tag number four. They're absolutely gorgeous. And there's, look at that don't know what you're going to do with it. Put it on somebody's gift card. Put a little white, a little white um, mat piece of paper with a to and a from. Make banners out of these. Wouldn't these make cute little banners with, the, with your um, letters right on them and string them together? But they're a dollar and it allows you to use what's remainder. Now you can see that there's still some on there. I'm going to move these out of my way for now. Oh, Mr. SMS in your desk. Remember, Mr. SMS, you love me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. And Oh, yeah, see that one dried and it came right off. I don't know if you can see that, but that one dried. I don't know if this is dry yet. I was waiting until that dried so I could show you that it just kind of comes right off. But you can see there's still some here. Zoop. Pick it all up and you're good to go and we're clean again. So love, love, love. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It's striking. They are, they're striking. There's no question about it. And what you do with them is now up to you. You can die cut them. You can mat them. You can use them on mixed media, on altered art, in your scrapbook pages. But who would have ever thought that taking a product that does not come from the scrapbooking, card making world would be so amazing? And we're not done. Now, I would take these two off to the side because I want them to dry. We're going to take these downstairs. I want these to dry. And if I had time, I would do a heat tool. God, this one really came out. Goodness gracious, it's beautiful. I love this one. We're going to have to make something out of this one. I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to move this off just to the side for a minute. 
And it's still not dry, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Okay, why did I move it off to the side? Because I have some that are already dry. Already dry. There's the back side. And what am I going to do with these? Well, I have options. Like I said, it can be die cut without any problem. These can be die cut. Let's see, let's grab this one. And I'm gonna bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine. Carefully being that I've got the biggest picture of water on my desk that I've ever had, I can just see it spilling. <laughs> but what a value from the dollar store. I don't wanna use something that I'm gonna, you know, I wanna be able to keep it and use that water pitcher again, but I don't wanna spend any real good money on it. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take one of my dies from my flip side collection and my top note. And or maybe I'll just cut both of them at the same time. Come on, go on through. I have got my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I have got my standard multi-purpose platform, which is sold separately. With your machine, you're going to get the longer multi-purpose platform. This one um, is handy because most of your dies are going to fit this platform. It's not so cumbersome. I'm gonna put my cut plate down. I'm gonna put on, see there, see there's the back. <laughs> Nobody needs to know what the back side looks like. Look at how fabulous the front side looks. And no two are ever going to come out the same. I'm just going to grab two of my dies from my flip side collection. And I'm going to put them right on here. And it doesn't even have to be centered because you're going to use these pieces separately. But I... I tend to like everything to be just so. I think that's pretty just so. All right, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna put on my clear plate and I'm gonna send it on through and I'm gonna roll, roll, roll. Now, these dies that I'm putting through are open frame dies. That means that they don't have any intricacy about them. Look at this die. See how intricate this die is? When this die is cut, look at how intricate the, those chevrons are. I don't know if I have a piece, oh, do I have a piece of white paper? Look at how intricate those chevrons are. With this die, you absolutely would need a precision base plate. But an open frame die is totally different. That means that there, there's nothing in the center that's going to be intricate. So really, you can just roll it through once. If you want, you can go back. It's not a big deal. But no precision base plate is needed at all to do any kind of a frame die. I'm going to roll that out of my way. Bring this on over. And now I have die cut out. my two pieces, which is how we were able to do this card. How cute is that? A little ribbon in the center. Of course, my flip side dies have the center piece that comes with them, including a stamp, but they die cut beautifully out of the Kaiser Craft paper. Oh my gosh, see, and I'm, I'm, I am who I am. I just am. I got it centered enough that I could keep this and use this for something else. See, I got my strip all nice and pretty. Now you may not want to worry about that, but holy smokes, this is a whole nother piece that I can use and put other pattern paper behind here or put just solid blue cardstock behind there and put a sentiment. I have no idea, but that looks awesome. And no two are ever going to come out and look at the paper. The paper stays fine. It really does because it's nice and heavy. And you, you're not going to have um, trouble die cutting it with your dies. And it lays down beautiful. And the colors are just gorgeous. And you're never going to get the same uh, pattern twice. It's just not possible. But there's so much to do with it. And I thought, 
for those of you who are card makers and, 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 and scrapbookers, what an awesome new element to add to your projects because there's just nothing like this. There's no paper like this out there. Make your own. Use them to mat your pictures. Absolutely. Use them for your flowers to embellish your pages. Cut your butterflies out of them. And you can sit there and just do a whole book of these. Let them dry in all the colors that you love and then just have them handy when you want to die cut something. Amazing. You just store them all together and then when you need a little something, a little special something to add some pizzazz, you flip through and find the colors that work for the project you're working on and then make it your own. So pretty. So this one, the chevron, I die cut out of this one here. No two colors are the same. Now I'm going to set those here for now. And my tags, my tags are drying. So my tags are drying and they're getting there. And I could use my heat tool to dry them if I wanted it to be a little bit faster. And if I really wanted and I just did not like what I did, I could dip again. I could go in there and dip again. Got that one wet. So if this one was not all that I wanted it to be, I could add more and add another layer and dip again. You have options. Let's just dip it one more time. I'm going to move these out of my way. I'm going to bring my water back over. And you want a water, you want something that's deep enough for whatever you're trying to dip. See, I've got a four by six card. I wanted to make sure that my water pitcher was as deep as possible. That way I knew it would go all the way in and all the way up. If you're only doing a little tag, well, maybe you don't need something as deep because it's just little tags. But let's say I wanted to add some more color to it. Let's add some yellow. And let's add some purple. And maybe a little bit of silver. A lot of silver. <laughs> because it's a little droplet, you can do that. Let's give a stir. Just so the colors kind of swirl a little bit into each other. And let's dip it again and see what we get. In and out. And now I've got a whole new tag. I dipped again. And if I didn't like this, I could wait till it dries and dip it another time. You can go over it. It's okay. They're very cool. Really very cool. I'm going to put this one down on Mr. SMS's desk. Shh. And then I still have this to do, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to grab another tag real quick and go in and out. And I've got this one's way more yellow. And then I'm going to put that one over there too. And now I can just skim the top and get rid of all of that excess that I did not use and just pick it all up and my water is good to go. But what if you're not a scrapbooker or a card maker or you're thinking, oh, I don't know. The still, Stacy, you said stay with you and I am, I'm staying with you, but I'm still not sure. Well, let's play. That's how my hand is get, I'm using the tweezers at the end to stir and then I'm using the tweezers to pick it up. I kept wondering how my hand is getting dirty way down there. I think I just figured it out. <laughs> okay, so maybe you're not a card maker or a scrapbooker. Let's do something else. How about we play with some tiles from Stamperia? 
Now, you may have a Home Depot local, you may have a Lowe's, you may have a little ceramic shop. Think of all the tiles that they have for a buck or under. Now, we have the Stamperia plaques and they're beautiful. And you can decoupage on top of these. They're absolutely gorgeous. You can do a lot with these and they are on sale. I know they're under, I know they're under $3. I'm sure of that. Um, and they're imported from Italy. So we bring them in from Italy and they're just beautiful. And I have a whole YouTube on making a, a magnet with these. And you can do that with this as well. At the very end, you would put a magnet strip that you can get. Well, we sell magnet strips, stick it by Ducrafts. It's the Stick It brand. You get a beautiful roll of magnet strip for very little money. Very little money and you can run it right onto the back and make a stunning magnet out of this. So let's see. What do we want to do? Um, oh see this is where having too many options is hard for me. Um, let's do let's do the green. Let's do the green. Oh, I love this green. And let's do the gold. Ooh, lots of gold. So once you start marbling, you start thinking, what else can I marble? And then let's take a little bit of the, maybe just a hair of the lighter green. Just a little, not much. Don't even know if it'll come through because you never know how the swirl is going to be. And let's give a swirl. Not too much swirl. And then sadly, I don't have any other, I don't have any other way to get it in. I'm going to, oh, I could take Stacy tape, but I don't have enough time. Okay. I can put it all the way in and out it comes. Let me get a piece of paper towel. Now I did marble my thumbnail. And yes, it will absolutely come off. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's beautiful. And if I seal it, I can make coasters. If I just want I, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's almost dry. Oh, the back looks good too. <laughs> Now I can put a magnet once it's all dry, a magnet strip and make a magnet for somebody for Christmas. It's beautiful. And you saw how quickly that went. It was easy peasy. Now it just dawned on me. It just dawned on me how I could do it without. Oh, see the back's already dry. Look at back's already dry. Done. It just dawned on me how I could do this without getting my hands dirty. What if I took this other one and I put some Stacy tape on? I put some Stacy tape here. Let me move this out of the side. And let's put some Stacy tape here. So this is the packaging. And their tape, not so much. Let's see if my tape will work. So there, and there. So I've exposed the sticky, put it right down on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wipe off my, my end. Oh, see, I've been letting this sit here too long. So I'm just going to clean off the top of my water. If it gets on the side, that's okay. Don't worry. No big deal. If the side of your bucket starts to look like it's got a million colors going around the edge, that's fine. As long as it's not in the center of your water, you just don't want your water to have that. But the side of the bucket's going to get dirty or the side of your water pitcher is going to get dirty. Okay. So now what colors do we do? Um, I don't know. Let's use the yellow. And the blue. I 
And let's throw some silver in here for good measure. And then let's stir. So we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I've stuck my tile down with Stacy tape. Now I'm just gonna dip the whole thing. Ready? Oh, ready? Let's do it this way. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> it marbled my entire thing. <laughs> but it worked. I didn't get my hands dirty. <laughs> So if you have the tiles, grab some of your Stacy tape, tape it down to paper big enough that you can dip in without getting your hands dirty. Now let's see if I can get it off. <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, it did a beautiful job marbling the um, packaging, which then you can use for something else. But there's my tile. Are they beautiful? It just makes my heart absolutely happy. Get those little drops of water off of it. Absolutely happy. And you saw, you saw how quick it was. So if you need inexpensive gifts for the holidays, you can do that with these in an hour of time. Well, the problem is you're going to start wanting to play. And, but in an hour's worth of time, you could make everybody the most beautiful custom-made magnet. You could put your magnet strip above, uh, against the back of it. You could sign it with the year and the date and Merry Christmas. And it's gorgeous. We have the circles. We have the circles that we put on top of um, on top of the canning lids and made magnets out of those. I mean, these circles fit on top of um, mason jar canning lids and you can then fill it with all sorts of stuff. And it's just beautiful and so simple to do. Now I'm going to clean up my mess. Just kind of swipe, swipe, swipe and get it all out of there. And again, you use very little of the product because you're just putting in drops. It has a little dropper top so, you know, it doesn't like pour in so you use too much. You're just dropping it in and clean it up. I am in serious love with my tiles and these are from Stamperia and yes they will be on sale. Then we had do crafts. Now these weren't supposed to be in this YouTube. They were not supposed to be here. They arrived literally a half an hour before I started to sit down to do this YouTube. These are going to be seen again in a later YouTube. but. We went crazy. It's like, okay, we have to play with these. We absolutely have to. And they've got several different styles. I want to say there's six styles. And they're they're inexpensive. They're under two bucks each. And you, again, you can make a beautiful magnet out of it. Throw a bow through the top and tie a bow. Put a magnet around the back and make a beautiful magnet. Let's see what I can do. You can even... You can even, okay, well, I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> so what can I do with these? Let's play with these. Um, let's do the bird. So let's do, let's do some white. Let's do some white. And these are wood. They're like an MDF. So I got some white in there. And let's do some purple. I am a creature of habit, I know. Um, Let's do some of the teal. And maybe that's it. Let's just try that. Give a swirl, 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 swirl. Do you see that swirl, swirl, swirl? See that? Put in my little tweezer. And then let's see what we get. Gosh, I don't know. Maybe I should hold it. So I'm going to give it. Maybe I should. Okay, we're just going to go. Ready? One, two, three. Oop. And then up. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, this makes my heart happy. How fabulous is that? Let me get some of the water out of the holes. Move this off to the side. Oh yeah. Oh, both sides. I don't know which side I like better. Both sides, one side. Or my other side and if I wanted to I don't know how it's gonna look we're just gonna do it if I wanted to I could dip again so ready oh I get nervous it's just wood one two three oh I got my hand in there four or five. Oh, now it's even more oh see I think I waited too long oh the back side this side looks great get some of that water off there there we go get some of that water off there I double dipped my bird looks awesome love my bird okay let's try the leaf put this over there with Mr. SMS's stuff I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna pick up and if you don't want to use the back of your tweezers, you can just take your little a little um, paper towel and just go in there and clear it right off. It's up to you, whatever you prefer. Go in there with a little paper towel and clear your water right off. And as long as your top of your water is all nice and clean and ready to go, you're ready to go. Okay, let's try a leaf. And then I want to do the owl. There's an owl. Where's the owl? Oh, do I not have the owl? Oh, I have to have the owl. Where's my owl? Oh, I don't have the owl. That's sad. The owl's so cute. Would have sworn I had an owl. I don't see him. Oh, I have him. I used him already. Oops. Okay, let's do the leaf. Let's throw some of the light green. Let's throw some of the darker green and oh, let's throw some of the gold. And let's see what we get. Give it a nice little stir, not too much, not too little. Grab onto your, my Do Crafts wood piece and ready. One, two, three, A, B, C. It's beautiful. And as it dries, that gold is going to come up, and you've got the back side that's done. Both sides, one dip one dip and then again I probably still have time let's just see what happens if I go zoop, zoop, and do my card in case you don't want to waste it have extra paper handy so you can just dip in and dip out and get it all on there might as well right it's in there Love, love, love my leaf. Easy to do. Let's wipe that down. Easy to do. And this is wood. So now I've done wood. I'm going to move this out of my way real quick. I've done wood. I've done tile. I've done paper, paper, <laughs> but what else can you do? Well, you can just continue to go and go and go. And this is where I really thought I had my, I'm gonna see if it's in here. I really thought I had an owl. Oh, I do have him. Look at how cute is this owl. Is he darling? Again, he's from Ducrafts. Let's open him up because then I want to show you the crystal. 
The crystal is a color. I think that's what they're calling it, crystal. But I, can't you just see that on a card for somebody? Backed in beautiful, beautiful mirror paper. They're just gorgeous. Or the bird. Where's my bird? Oh, you can see the silver starting to come through. And make a magnet out of that for somebody. So pretty. Or a Christmas ornament. Hello. Aren't that, wouldn't that be a beautiful little Christmas ornament? Yes, it would. <laughs> Okay, the owl. So the reason why I wanted to play with the owl is because I wanted to show you the crystal. I think that's what they're calling it, crystal. Yes, crystal. Okay, so what does this stuff do? This is kind of a cleary color. It's yellowy, but it's not a yellow color. This is if you want to use just one color of marbling. You only want to use one color of marbling. Um, what color do we want our owl to be? Um, I don't know. I didn't bring orange up here with me. How about a turquoise? Uh, how about a blue owl? So I've got my blue. I want to make sure I clean off my top. I can see that there's still just a little bit of stuff floating around. So I'm just going to clean it off. And again, if you would prefer to use a paper towel, then you just go in there and just skim the top of your water and you're good to go. So you don't have to replace your water every time. Now, I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna put my blue in. But I'm only using blue. Now when I try to swirl, it doesn't really swirl because it's blue. It's got, it, it's the same color all the way through. So it, none of that other color, the greens or the yellows or the golds are making it move. What makes it move? This bottle of, gosh, I think that's what they're calling it, crystal. This is a clear color that then now see how it moves. Now see how I can swirl it. See how I can swirl it and make pattern with it. I couldn't do that before I added the crystal because it was all just one color. And let's go one, two, three, A, B, C. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> and now I was able to make my owl. He's marbled blue. I'd have preferred orange, but we marbled him blue. But it shows you how that, that color works. Now let's throw a little bit more blue in really super quick. And let's throw a little bit more crystal in really super quick. And let's move it just a little bit more blue. One more, two more drops. And let's move it around before it sets. And let's take my card and let's go. Whoop, whoop. Oh, <laughs> what do we think of that? <gasps> Is that pretty awesome? But to do that, you need this, this little bottle of non-color. And when I asked Mary from Marabou, because we got it in and I had played with all the other colors before, and this came in and I said, Mary, what is this? I emailed her, what does this do? And she emailed me back, I think two words, it's magical. That's what she emailed back. So that was my cue, okay, let's play and see what it does. That's using just one color. But if you don't add this crystal color to it, it doesn't separate and make the marbling. How gorgeous is that? Now die cut your flowers, die cut your butterflies, die cut your, your water. Oh, you have a water dye, die cut your water now out of this. Would that be fabulous? Or just play and put these aside until you're ready to use them. Love, love, love that. I like my blue owl. I would have preferred an orange owl, but I, I'll, I'll live with him. He's fine. We'll make him, maybe if I had a little bit of yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out because I don't want it to leave little strings behind. I don't want little gloppies. If you've got little gloppies, it's because you had a little gloppy on the top. Let's put some yellow and just see what happens. 
and I don't want it to be solid yellow because if I put it in now it's going to cover the whole thing yellow. So I'm going to add a little more of the crystal. Yeah, crystal. Ooh. And swirl, swirl, swirl so that my yellow now has swirls in it. And let's put him back in and see what we get. Ready? One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, better. Oh, I like him better. Now he's got a little bit of yellow going on in him. Oh, and I bet if I put white on top of him, oh, what happens if we put white on top of him? Let's clear this off. Clear that off. Because I don't want those little stragglers. I don't want those little things sticking to my paper or my wood. And let's add just a little bit of white and see what happens. Don't know, have no clue. Oh, I have a little bit of yellow still on there. Okay, maybe a little bit of crystal. And swirl, swirl, swirl. Now we may make mud, and if we make mud, then we need to let them dry entirely, and then we can do them all over again. We may make mud. Ready? One, two, three. Doop. Oh, well, now he's kind of scary. <laughs> I think I went too far. <laughs> but it's been fun playing. <laughs> I wonder if I dip them back in if I'll get even more white and almost cover up my blue and my yellow. Oh, yep. So I could let him dry and now he's, well, actually that looks kind of cool. <laughs> okay, I like him again. That looks, ooh, eerie. I like my white owl. Okay, so no mud making here. <laughs> And that's the beauty of the product is that you can keep dipping, let it dry and dip again until your heart is happy. I think I made happy. I like him. He makes my heart very happy. We'll get out all the little globs and let all the water drip out and we'll put him off to the side. But I have to say for today, I think this one might be my most favorite using that crystal in just the blue. I think that might be my most favorite. But the dollar store, what did we do at the dollar store? Well, okay, I bought a candle that's in there. I bought a bottle. I bought a little ampersand sign. Probably should take the tags off of it, but it was a dollar. I bought candle sticks. So let's clean it up. And let's see what you can do with things you may have sitting at home that you were going to garage sale, but now, now you can make them new and you can use them for a gift. Oh, how about, well, that blue was very pretty. How about just some of that blue with the crystal because that blue was really, really, really pretty. And kind of spritz it all around so that it makes your pattern. Hold my candle. I can only go down as far as my what do you think? I marbled my candle. <laughs> I marbled my, cal my candle. Lovely, right? And if I wanted to, I could... Let's throw some turquoise in there super quick and see if we can still get away with it. And maybe, don't know why, but maybe some red. Whew, I have no clue what it's going to look like. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm starting to get gloppies. Okay, let's do it super fast and see if I can get it without the gloppies. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. And up. <laughs> oh! I'm getting water everywhere. 
Is that simply awesome? Now I can only go as high as my vessel. But how cool is that? And it's got to burn down anyway. That's pretty rock star. Dollar store candles. Okay, let's clear off my top. Let's take one of the glass vessels. And with the glass vessel, I think I'm going to use the gold. And lots of it. Ooh. Lots of gold and some red. And some black. And let's go zoo, 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 zoo. And let's take my glass. And go one, two, three, A, B, C. And it's marbled. Take the label off of yours. <laughs> but how pretty is that? Can't you see doing these for a holiday gift or a thank you gift or something that you just need somebody, you need to give somebody a little something but you're on a budget, but you want to do something nice for them. And everybody loves handmade. Who doesn't love handmade? And a dollar store item, you get one free. If you buy this, you get the paper free as well. I mean, you get, you buy one of these, you get the paper free. So you can be doing the paper and your dollar store item. I've got my, let's do the ampersand real quick. Let's do the ampersand. And the ampersand, I think I'm just going to do black and crystal. So let's get the black and the crystal. Black and crystal and swirl, swirl, swirl. Now don't over swirl. You swirl too long and it's gonna go. So now I've got my little ampersand. And let's go. One, two, three, A, B, C. <laughs> okay, it's so very cool. Now I didn't go all the way up because I didn't, my fingers are already a mess, but how awesome is that? It's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. I wonder if we added just a little bit of red. I wonder if there's still time. You never know. It's only from the dollar store. I'm just gonna move it just a little bit so it's not too much. Let's see if I can get it in. Ready? One, two, three, red. Oh! <laughs> see, this is, this is what's going on downstairs. Now I've added a little bit of red marbling to it. In a kid, in a teenager's, you know, little space, these fun little things from the dollar store, and then they can decorate them to their own color and put it up against their books. Great, great, great gifts. Love, love, love them. And SMS girl Michelle got out some paper flowers, and she did paper flowers. I mean, there's really not much you can't marble. Now my hands are a mess. I'm not gonna lie. Had I been more careful in doing this at home, I, I probably would not be this messy. But in the YouTube, it's okay. I want you to see what can be done. And I, well, it's longer than an hour. I don't want it to be four hours. And I clean my water. So now, I'm gonna move this out of my way. Now, what have we done? I'm gonna bring this on back over here. Okay, so now, the bottles are $2.99 less 20%. So that makes them $2.40 a bottle. And the bottles last a long time. I mean a really long time. We've done candles. We've done tile plaques. We've done paper in multiple different ways. We've done, I've got the cutest, the wood. 
we've done wood, we've done, um, somebody did a domino, <laughs> somebody did a domino, we did the cute little ampersand from the dollar store, we did a glass uh, candle, so vases or tea light candle holders, whatever, all out of an inexpensive beautiful product from Marabou. It's made in Germany, it's brought here to the States, and it's not necessarily your scrapbooking, card making stuff, but why? It's crafting, why can't it be? Why can't we explore? We did the tags, I don't know where I put the tags, but we did, oh, here they are. We did beautiful tags. Why can't it be part of what we want to choose to create? I don't see why it can't. I think that we should give ourselves permission to experiment. And at these types of prices, you have that option. You can get a bottle or two or three and blend. And if you have the crystal, well then you've got even another additive. You, you, you can take any color and make it do this. She's right, it's magical. And now if I die cut this or I crop this down and I stamp on it and I heat emboss my congratulations across the front of it and I'm at it and I make a card or I do this and I, I put happy birthday, I let it dry and I stamp happy birthday across the top or I heat emboss or I send this through an embossing folder. Think of all the things you can do. And because you get the paper for free when you buy one, at least one bottle, you can start playing the minute you get it because the only other thing you need is water, not cold water, just plain room temperature water. All right, I wanna show you some samples because we've got lots. As you can imagine, SMS girls and I went a little cray crazy with <laughs> playing with this stuff. Well, let me hold that. And let me hold, I'm gonna put these over there and let me get these off and move these over this way. So, first off, let me start with the, with the wood. Let's see if I can clean some of this off. See, it just kind of, once it's dry, it just wipes right off your craft mat. It just, it's better to let it dry and try and get it, get it off then, than to try and do it when it's wet. When it's still wet, it just kind of moves around, but when it's dry, it, it's like plastic and it just rubs right off your craft mat. Easy peasy. So, the do crafts. Look at the cute heart. What a cute little ornament. What a cute little item to put on top of a card. What a cute little embellishment for your scrapbook. So we've got the heart. We have got the dragonfly that I dipped. Right? Looks good, huh? We have got the leaf that I dipped. And you kind of have to decide which side you like better because, oh, see, here's a good dramatic. There's one side, there's the other. Which side do you like better? You have options. And then my, here's an owl using just orange and I used the crystal to make it all swirl. Here's the owl using some black and some yellow and some orange. Here's my little birdie using pink and black and white. Then we have some of the tiles from Stamperia. You can seal them, absolutely. You can get a Mod Podge sealer, a top coat sealer, seal them up if you want. Add your magnet to the back. This one I dipped about six times. I just kept dipping it until I got it where I liked it. That last dip was white. Look at the shine it has on it after you've dipped it so many times. Amazing. Silvers and blues. So if you have coasters, you can make somebody beautiful, beautiful coasters. Absolutely, so some of the tiles this is the one we did. 
These are from Stamperia. And again, under $3. Here's some of the wood. Don't have the owl. I used it. Here's some of the tiles in the different sizes that you can dip, all from Stamperia. And they made these to go with their rice paper, which we sell also. And I've done it with rice paper before and painting it and then putting it onto a can, a mason jar can top and making it a magnet. But now we're dipping them. Then we have, oh, the girls just did a whole bunch of different tags. Just a multitude of them. Oh, I did that one too. That one came out really pretty, but I digress. So a bunch of the tags, just doing whatever makes your heart happy. And the tags, there's four different packs. They retail for $4.99. They're on sale for a dollar. That's it, a dollar. You get 24 different tags. Now you can use these as tags. You can color them just like they're meant to be. You can distress them, you can ink them, or you can dip them now for a buck. And I wanna say there's four different sets of the tags. Then we have the different books. Now the book you're going to get for free is the um, words to inspire that you're going to get for free if you buy any of the easy marble if you don't want any of the easy marble which I think is foolish just buy one because then you get this for free and they're the same price but we've got several other books and they're all going to be two dollars and forty cents when they're gone they're gone and all of these again you can use for their intended purpose to color they're beautiful or you can do something else with them like we did. So we have all the books. Then we have the Easy Marble Starter Kit. If you wanted the Starter Kit, it's $16.99. It'll be 20% off. It gives you yellow, red, blue, green, white, and black. Up to you. If you like the Starter Kit, you can do that and then come in and pick out some of your more um, you know, more flashier colors. The gold and the silver are majestic. They're just beautiful. So we have that for you. And lastly, we have my set of Simply Refined. So my dies that I focused on last week and showed you how to use the flip side because they are amazing and you do get so much value for your money. Everything is interchangeable between the two different sets. There is a stamp and die combo to go with it so you can finish it out. So these are also, these are regularly $19.99. That's if you buy one, but if you buy the four that make up the, the I want it all, it brings them down to, I think $14.99. You get all four of them for $59.99 as opposed to $19.99. And then the stamp and die sets are $9.99. But you get all the stamps and all the dies to fit with them. So we'll leave that on a YouTube yummy. And then of course, we have all the different colors. And I wanna say there's 22 or 23 different colors of the Marabou, and I did not bring them all upstairs. But we have had a wonderful time with them. Now, to show you some of the card samples and things we've done. Um, anybody wanna do a Christmas ornament? How cute is that? Inexpensive, not your expensive Christmas ornaments. Dip it in, dip it out, and poof, magic. You've got a vintage Christmas ornament. Look at how cute the little one is. It was green to start with. It was just a green ornament. Dipped it in, dipped it out of the gold. What do you think? Talk about easy. How cute, right? Cute, make your own ornaments. Just darling, dip them in, dip them out. Then I, because it was on my desk from Jim, a customer, I took the CD out of it, Jim. I dipped my CD case <laughs> because I could. 
So dip your phone case, dip, I mean, really just about anything. Wood, absolutely. But, oh, look at these are dry now. These were the first two we did. These are dry. And you can see, you don't have the warpage because the paper is a beautiful weight. Lovely. Okay, let's show you some cards that were made. Time to celebrate. And this is using my Simply Refined Flipside 2018 Celebration Collection. Then we have the reds and the oranges. And here, how cute is that? A little sentiment over here and it's done. Look at, and we embossed the gold. Now the gold is um, Craft Perfect paper from Tonic. I don't know which one I like the most. They all look so good. And because you can just let them dry and then go back to them to die cut with anytime you want, you can sit there and play for, for hours making the paper and then just have it handy. How regal, how rich does that look? So pretty. Oh, here's another one with the other orientation. Look at how beautiful. Look at now. You can see some of the some of the design from the Kaiser Craft paper coming through, and that's okay. It looks awesome. So pretty. Same with this one. You can see some of the design coming through, and it looks amazing. black and go this way or this way and then the final the make and take all right so this is easy marble by marabou and you may have seen it before, you may have not, I don't know. I'm gonna tilt on up. I'm gonna scroll on back. I'm gonna tilt on back. There we go, there we go, there. Okay, much better. You may have seen it before, you may not have, but I don't know if you knew everything that could be done with it. And I don't know if you knew how affordable it really can be. So being that it's all on sale for 20% off, the plates, the, the plaques from Stamperia and the do crafts is on sale and the tags, well the tags are even more than that. They're a dollar from $4.99 down to a dollar and any of the other books are, they were $7.99, now they're $2.40 and of course you've got words to inspire for free if you buy any, even just one of the Marabou. Now if you really don't like this, you still should buy this to get this for free because you can give this to a friend and teach them and show them how to do it. I just I feel like I have a moral obligation to make sure you know not to miss away, not miss your free product. <laughs> Especially when it, I mean, it's the same price no matter what you do. So, all right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Have no idea how long this YouTube is. If it's over an hour, well, Mr. SMS, you were right. <laughs> but that's okay. And, um, and I hope you had a good time. Remember, go get yourself, go to the, I don't know if you've got, you know, an inexpensive, the Dollar Tree or something, go get yourself some inexpensive tweezers to play with. And if you really, really want to, you can get yourself some gloves so your hands don't get inky. But as somebody told me, Christina said, well, it's not fun if you're not getting inky. Christina is one of our newer SMS girls, and I think she's right. So, but I know maybe you don't want to get your hands inky, but it'll come off. Wash your hair and do the dishes and you're done. All right. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple. You'll find all of these products at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I would like to give out a huge thank you to John from DoCrafts for getting that DoCraft product here. It wasn't supposed to be in this YouTube. It landed today. I said, oh, let's do it. And to Mary from Marabou who really stepped up and made sure that that 
um, we fully understood how to use this amazing product and giving it to us for a price that you can afford to get it at and also Kaiser Craft for um, helping us on the cost of those products so that again if you have a small budget that's okay we understand you should be able to craft too and with this product I think you'll be able to okay it's me I'll see you next week for YouTube number 250